everyone, I'm back with another video today. I have a video class to do my favorite coconut fragrances. So I'm gonna start with Bath and Body Works. And yeah, so I have 10 coconut fragrances in my Bath and Body Works collection, but I have six here that I really love and um, that I've been using off and on um, and yeah, some of these they have bought back in a new packaging with a few other new fragrances. So I hope I can get um, that at the semi-annual. Hopefully I can get these new fragrances at the semi-annual. And yeah, so I'm gonna start with the ones that I don't talk about much. I'm going to start with the other ones that I've been loving lately, and that's Coconut Mint Drop. I did use the fragrance mist already last month, and I, I really love this. It's very sweet. It has that sweet mint and that coconut. It's almost like a toasted coconut with mints. Um, I I really like this one. This is very different. Um, I think I like this one more than the Christmas Cocoa and Mint. Um, I'm so glad that I'm almost done with that because I'm just, I'm already sick of the scent and I'm about a quarter through of it. And I wore this today. So this is my scent of the day because I was just, um, I'm done with that fragrance. But yeah, this one is very good. Yeah, it has almost like a toasted coconut with a hint of mint and you get more of that mint scent in the dry down. So this one is very good and I'm glad that I have a backup of that. And co coconut cream pie. This is another one that I actually really enjoyed from this line. This is Toasted Coconut Flakes Caramel Custard Golden Pie Crust. So this one I this one I, I was kind of like you know am I really gonna like it because of that caramel note. I know um Palmo seems to be very strong, but this is actually very, very good. This can actually pass as a uh, fall scent. And that's weird because it came out just now. So, I mean, I would use this in the fall. You get that sweet coconut, you get the Calmo custard, and the Calmo note is very prominent. And then when it dries down, you get that sweet coconut and the pie crust is very it's there but it's it's not like in your face type of scent i get a lot of caramel with this so that's why i think this would make a really great fall scent i'm just so over um winter fragrances and i'm like ready to like jump into like coconut scents so this one is very good and yeah i want to get more of these i want to get a backup and i do eventually want to get the creams to these collections because i want to i want to save one collection and then i want to use a fragrance mist in the fall so i might get another one of these later hopefully they have it at the semi-annual so i can pick it up and I can use it and I can enjoy it in the fall. So I think that would be good, you know, then. And then I have coconut pineapple. So when I first did my review last year on this, I remember saying that I liked the coconut palm then. Um, but I've been really enjoying pineapple scents and I've been wanting to do a pineapple collection type of video 
and I want to do collections on different fragrances and grab everything that I can within that fragrance note. So I want to do that pretty soon, but pineapple, I've been wanting to do like a pineapple fragrance, body care, um, hygienic, everything pineapple. And I've been using this. I used this twice already. So sometimes I'll go on my shelf, I'll grab a scent, I'll wear it for a little while. And this one I seem to gravitate more than anything else. This one is my absolute favorite. And I know they brought this one back with new packaging and some new fragrances. But since I already have this line, I probably won't pick it up. Um, so <laughs> it's gonna take me a while to get to this collection anyway. But I would love to get a backup of the coconut pineapple. If anything, I want a backup of that. Um, and then Live Fresh, and this is like an oldies, this is like a retired fragrance, and I actually really like this one. Um, I've been watching a lot of Empties videos, and I don't know if it's just me, but when I watch anybody, it could be any um, Empties videos, I have to watch all their videos. So I spent all day binge watching all their videos, the Shriek by Stash, the Empties, just to see what they've been using up. I don't care too much for what they're buying, what they're hauling. I just want to see what they're using up, what they enjoy. And I've been making a list of everything that I want that if I see, I can pick up. And yeah, it's been giving me the extra motivation to use my stuff up and stay focused. And I've seen this in an empties video. It's an older empties video from a few years back. And I love those videos. And um, she talked about this and she really loved it. And you get, it's, you get more coconut than you do pineapple with this one. And I like that, you know, sometimes, you know, when they, when they put um, a coconut pineapple scent um, together, you get more of the pineapple than you do coconut, even though the um, label is coconut, whatever, it's usually just all pineapple, but I like that this one has more coconut then pineapple and that's why I really like this one. So I have a few coconut scents like that and um, that one seems to my, be my favorite out of those type of pina colada fragrances. Um, and then Waikiki Beach Coconut, I rave about this all the time. This is my favorite Bath and Body Works coconut scent doesn't matter what coconut scent they come out with. I love this one because it's not a sweet coconut. It's more of a tropical scent. The bamboo gives it a nice balance. So it's not sweet and it's not too, um, it's more of like a tropical coconut scent rather than sweet, fruity or sweet and sugary. This is just, very nice and I like this one but I've been seeing a lot of the reviews on the new line the new tropical line and Waikiki Beach Coconut seems to be very sweet in the new line so I'm not sure I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up I might not pick up Waikiki Beach Coconut if it's just too sweet um, because I really like the original formula so yeah, I have a lot of sweet candy coconut scents and I really don't want another one, but this one is very good and it's my favorite. And yeah, so this one is Beach Coconut, Pink Passion Flower, Saltwater Breeze, Fresh Bamboo, Sun Bleach Woods. So you get the coconut, you get the bamboo. I'm not picking up any floral notes and whatever Sun Bleach Woods is, it's probably giving it that tropical scent but yeah 
this one is very good and you know and then my favorite um sunscreen coconut scent is oahu coconut sunset so i was burnt out on this back in 2019 when i went on vacation and i used up the cream i used up two full-size fragrance mists and a mini fragrance mist and i was just burnt out i needed a break but i've been really loving this i've used it twice already and i'm trying to use this one up along with the fiji pineapple palm so this is from 2017 but because i have one in the newer packaging from sas i'm just going to use this one up and enjoy it i want to try to save my coconut scents for more um may june um so i want to focus more on the floral fragrances <laughs> rather than coconut right now but i've been loving coconut scents lately and yeah so that's it for my favorites and let me show you over here what i didn't <laughs> add so This is the back of Oahu Coconut Sunset. This is from 2019. So that's gonna go back on my shelf. But I have fresh coconut colada. After getting the coconut pineapple, I kind of stay clear from the pineapple coconut from this. And I think I like that one more. That one has more of a fresh fruit coconut scent rather than this one. This is more sweet, um, syrupy type of, and I think I used this one up already and I was burnt out on it and I'm still not there yet. I want to use this one up. I did get rid of my watermelon lemonade set. A friend of mine wanted it, so I gave it to her but this one is just it's very very sweet and i think i'm going to use this one up because i have the one in the new packaging and um i don't need two of them so that one i'm going to put over here and leave that for summer and then i have the pink coconut calypso that i did not add and this is the coconut water seaside freesia sunkissed lily apple and driftwood I like this one because of the apple note and it gave it um, a nice fruity fragrance um, but I think with the lily and the freesia it does give me a slight headache so this one I did use up and I enjoyed it when I used it but I was burnt out on it pretty quickly so this one is going to go back on my shelf. And then I have the black Bali Black Coconut Sands. And this one, I used up the body cream and I used up, I think I used up one fragrance mist, I believe. I'm not quite sure. But I know I used up the cream and the cream smelled horrible on me. It smelled like sour milk. It still smells like sour milk on my skin. I don't know what it is, the milky type of fragrances, like coconut milk or whatever always leaves like a sour milk scent on me it still does but i like the scent i love the fragrance i just don't like the way it smells on my skin so when i use this when i'm ready to use this up it's just gonna be i'm just gonna use it spray it on my clothes um because it smells horrible on me so i will not be getting the body creams to um, that at all so and then the last one here is coconut palm and I love this one when I first got it but this is more like a fresh this is like a fresh coconut it's more of like a um, like a fresh coconut scent you get it's more of like a fresh coconut with a little bit of salt breeze type of scent. That's what I'm picking up. It's very fresh. 
and yeah this one would be great for summer as well because it's a very light scent and yeah so this one would be good if you take it to the beach too that would be a, a great beach scent as well so yeah this one is very good but um those three i did not include well those four i did not include um because a lot of them just like burnt out on it so um yeah so that's it for this favorites and this video request i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much and i'll see you later bye